Hello and welcome to a let's play of Cyborg Justice. And in case you missed, the, we crash land on the planet. It turned into a cyborg and the memory erasure. That isn't successful, so we are out for justice. Cyborg Justice. Wait more. Okay. Arcade game mode, difficulty normal, relax, easy, normal, hard, yeah, we'll go with normal, lives 3. Mm, 1 to 5, yeah, 3 is good. Okay. Basically, middle of the road, middle of the road difficulty and every other setting too. Mm. And we get to build our own Ruba. Mm, I'll actually, you have the options, yeah, crusher hand, soul hand, launch hand, leader hand, fire spray hand, normal hand, uh, different kind of bodies, different kind of legs, spike, somersault, tank. Big foot legs, pneumatic legs. Um, you they have differences, but you you don't you if you don't actually read about them. You don't know. And I did test this out earlier, and one thing became apparently or apparent very quickly, and that it's uh, normally this is a side-scrolling beat 'em up. Hmm. Normally in these games, the controls are fairly simple, so is with this one in many ways. But you have your jabs, uh, a few of these special attacks that react to how, where you are pushing at the moment. But the thing is, that's not all there is. This game has a lot of uh, uh, attack combination, I guess, that are very hard to figure out on your own. For example, picking up an item on the ground is uh, you can't just you have to do this blocking key, boots downward, uh, but that's not enough. You also have to then push forward. So it's a uh, sort of that kind of combination. While another is jumping, it's basically a, there's a jump, but the thing is there are chasms in this game that you have to jump over and. Using the jump button will never reach that, so you have to sort of um, know how to extend that jump. Otherwise, you can you always die there. But nothing really tells you what they are. These all kinds of uh, weird con weird controls options. You'll just have to find them out on your own. Okay, we are screwing up quite quite royally here. I'm not familiar with the controls though. I just know now know the ones I absolutely need to in order to complete the game. I'm testing out Testing out moves and it's basically costing uh, me a lot of life. Why can't I... Uh, I'm trying to hit that one, but it didn't react to it at all. Yeah, I'm doing really badly. I have one life left, and if that ends, it's game over. There's not going to be anything use. Uh, well, they are, but they're... They're in the sense that you have to redo everything. 
So we'll have to gain more lives as we fight these robots. I definitely shouldn't try anything clever at this point. I don't have the life for it. I have two lives left and that's lost in a second. I think I'll just try to get rid of one of those. I'd like to get rid of the, the yellow one. Yeah, I think I'll actually die here. The game isn't hard, but yeah, because I don't know the controls yet, it's very difficult for me. No, oh, what the hell are you doing? Ah, these are jump legs. We'll see if we can make a comeback here. But we don't need much. A few successful fights will allow us to regain. Regain a few lives. Oh shit. Yeah, that's what I mean. And that's game over for us. There's no way to jump across a chasm like that. You need to extend it, but we got hit. We got hit in the middle of it. So we dropped, lost our last life. We'll try something else now. Oh, I yeah, that's not. And we'll go with the pneumatic legs. The legs, because I know they're very easy to use to get over the chasms. So we're much less likely, much less likely to actually fail. Yeah, you can just double jump these. Still trying to taste out moves. Okay. The reason why you want to put enemy bots together is basically to steal their life. I do want to try out something. It's, it's nasty because those missiles are constantly. Yeah, there's a lot of button combinations. Oh, that's nice. And they're definitely not apparent, so not something like go to crouch and press a button. It's something like go to crouch. Then press a button plus a direction control. All kinds of combinations that are definitely not apparent to you. So I'm going to fight relatively simply. And the reason is. It's exactly that. I don't want to. I simply don't know how to do things reliably. I still don't get how to use some of our special attacks. 
How the hell are you supposed to? Seriously. Seriously, I have no idea. I'm just trying to learn how to do things. I, I have no idea how to use these special... How the hell am I going to attack? Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, we lost a couple of lives there. It's not enough to... If you're going to use the double jump capability of our legs, you have to use it immediately. If you wait even a uh, half a second before double sort of a uh, double pressing the jump button, it won't jump anymore. So the game itself is fairly good, but the control system is uh, very. You can do the things you need to do without too much issue, but a lot of special moves that. They are not really capable of capable of using, and I mean simple moves that you should be able to repeat without any trouble. And it's sort of made worse by the fact that you're constantly spammed by these missiles, so you don't have time to practice anything. Sort of a. Uh, you need to press A or A quickly and then hold it down. You'll do a special attack. idea what I, how I'm doing most of these moves. Jump you bastard. I, I have no idea how you're supposed to use these special attacks because it's, they're so slow that enemies certainly not gonna fall for them. I'm starting to think it's totally pointless trying to learn them at all. I'll 
sense the hand. I'll change the hand so I don't get tempted to try to use it. Moonwalking. Nice. I actually am relying on your health. So. Oh, come on. Hello, hell. Thank you. We need the extra lives. We are going to lose them at some point. So, we'll try to gain as many as we can. At least we've gained a single life, and the missions don't seem to be that difficult, at least based on the first two, I guess. I guess it's a safe bet that that's not going to last. There was one, at least one long range arm that might be much, much better. Some kind of a shooting arm and a laser arm. Um, that's of course you didn't take the goddamn part. Okay, we need both of their torsos now to regain what we lost. They're very weak. Not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Okay, five lives with full health. I guess there's one negative side to this. It can make battles uh, somewhat repetitive. On the other hand, you can 
switch things on the fly. So you're not stuck with the choices you make at the early game. Okay, we screwed that up. A single enemy isn't really a, a challenge against us. At least it's something that a long range attack we normally wouldn't have, so probably a good arm to keep. Ooh. New music, new level. Okay, I'm accidentally doing those laser shots, I don't want to do them. These guys seem to have a lot more health. So actually this might be the best way to fight them at this point. Trying to beat that much health out of them is probably not going to be an easy thing to do. I do need some kind of health. Ah, full health. Maybe 6 life is the maximum. That could be it. Or you need to be at almost maximum health to get additional lives. These guys seem to have some kind of a actual fighting AI going on. They don't. They fight a little bit smarter. They try to evade. They try to block. Things have definitely started to become a little more interesting. I still think the six life might be the maximum. So those we don't have to. Yeah. But I don't see much use for this laser arm. Not that it's bad, but. The enemy AI, how it faces its attack, things like that, it seems to be a 
it avoids those later shots with a high degree of probability, so why, why the hell would I bother using it? I'm totally stuck. It, it seems to be that there's some sort of stages in these movements, that's why we're sort of a... Uh, Getting stuck at all times because it. I, I'm guessing it's to help make those um, complex movement combinations a bit easier. Because if you successfully do the first phase, it, the game sort of uh, pauses it there and allows you to proceed with the second movement phase. But it's also a problem because you have to do something to get out of it. If you just leave it there, you're stuck in an awkward position doing nothing. The game doesn't appear to be all that hard, because you can constantly, if you amputate the enemies, you can constantly gain new body parts or uh, more health. But on the other hand, it seems it sort of required. It makes the, I guess, it makes the gameplay a little bit repetitive. Again, I was stuck there. I guess I did some combination of a uh, or a move. Yeah, again stuck there. Uh, you do the initial state for some kind of movement, and And then the game waits for you to continue and won't allow you to continue continue moving until something else happens. I really need to really need to regain some health here. I get the build there. Again, the kicking and pulling your limbs apart button combination, there's only differences, I guess, a little difference in in timing. You basically do them by pressing the same button, so minor difference in timing means that you might be doing the completely wrong movement, and I'm not a huge fan of that system. Because they do something you would never want to do. But doing the kick when you try to get the uh, limb out is basically one of the worst things that could possibly happen. prefer these limbs. They're all equally useless as far as I'm concerned. I definitely want these legs. I'm terrible at jumping in this game, so being able to do the double jump is, is worth it. Uh, there are additional bonuses for the other legs to solid good bonuses, like there are these hazards in these games. I think the Biggest legs don't get stuck in those, they can ignore them. The spike legs, I think, do additional kicking damage, then those jumping legs can actually do those flip jumps. So, 
know, everything has so, some kind of an advantage. But all things considered, yeah, I'll I'll take the extra jumping power any day. We don't need to recover this guy. Yeah, we're getting a bit better feel for the controls. It's a lot about time too. And again, I have to. I'm playing this with a keyboard, so it's not exactly like a control bat. And that'll make some timing things a little bit awkward for me. As long as we have six lives and are in full health, I'm not going to bother tearing their limbs off. Points. This is uh, clearly another kind of a... Ooh. Yeah. Again, it works with uh, the pattern combination, so you have to have your timing right, right and test out Test it out, the uh, proper timing in actual gameplay. So, as far as control schemes go, it's uh, it's not great. Definitely need to regain health. Then we also we can't throw the guy with the heavy legs. Something we also discovered. I tried to and it failed. So those might be an interesting alternative, but yeah, because I suck at jumping, they're not really an alternative. We need one of them to get stuck in there. Mm, it's actually working for us because now we can split the enemy group apart. There. Yeah, slowly getting hang of it. Very repetitive though at this point. Mm, even though there are a fair number of, I guess, options for you, which we have to choose, we don't see a lot of them. Most are the same type of bodies with no proper hands and those big kicks. They seem to be also have uh, the same AI control in them. Ooh. 
an actual attack. Is the case. I'm trying to. Oh. Oh shit. That's not good. Give me your hand. Oh shit. Hey. Oh, did we lost all of our lives. Okay, the health bar doesn't mean shit if you lose your main main body. Okay. okay, we need to regain health. I'm not sure what's the best way to deal with those guys then. What the hell? Uh, again, I was stuck in a move, some kind of a movement or pre-movement uh, sort of pause. The character refused to move. This is bad. I need to. I'll actually. I think I'll use the save state against the boss fight. The reason is quite quite simple. If uh, this is our last, basically continue. So if I die now, I'll have to start the game over again, and I don't see any point in that. It's really close. Close timing. You need to do this. If you need to press an arrow key and an attack key, proper attack key, the proper order timing. If they're off by a little bit, it'll do something completely speed and something you don't want to do. So yeah, I, I'm not a fan of this control scheme because there. Are they're not like they're special moves, they're the basic thing you need to do throughout this entire game. So they should be something a lot more simple, something that you are hard pressed to mix with something else. I 
don't know how to deal with the boss though, because I, I wasn't exactly playing easy on it, it just in the middle of my sort of a combo to hit it, just stopped it for without any effort. Why are you def- I don't get it, why are you shielding yourself, you dumbass? I think this is the tactic we'll adapt against all boss fights. Just do damage and don't even try to don't even try anything clever. Use that use these stages to regain health. And in the actual boss fight just kill it. These have more and more health, so I don't see... Be actually beating them up seems to be more and more stupid option to take. You should probably try to pull their legs and pull their arms and use them as to regenerate yourself all the time, because it'll take a ton of actual beating to kill things at this point already. I can't imagine it's going to get a lot better as time goes on. What the hell are you doing? Again, we're stuck in some kind of a standby mode or future orders. Away. That was nice. And the reason I'm not blocking is because it's actually it's actually quite hard to do because it has a good chance of uh, doing something other than just blocking when you go in there. Otherwise, yeah. The exotic control system excluded. I do. It's a, not a complicated game, but it's a side scrolling beat em up. What the hell do you expect? Could probably be more into their entertaining, of, though, in many ways. Certainly not bad. Looks fairly good. Now, I don't recall games that have these mechanics like you can rip people's arms and legs off and regain energy from ripping their torso off. So, unique. Well, it might not be unique, but. 
at least something that I don't recall seeing in other games. So something unique, yeah, unique, unique. Something special to their games. I don't see without the amputation or ripping body parts off. I don't see this game being all that great. It would be the combat would be too repetitive. Find hunt interesting. I don't know how long the game actually is. I can't imagine this being too long. It's one of the games like this, at least during that time, you could probably play them from start to finish in an hour. And usually in a faster than that. So I this is it's a probably a good thing because I can see this getting even a few hours of this. Three, four, and I could see that you probably would be sick of, sick of it because there's not enough variation. I mean, if you had some kind of a Noticeably different AI schemes that the robots would use on a regular basis, that might be enough to okay. The levels aren't long That's a blessing I wonder how long this is gonna keep on going. I'm mainly taking their bodies at this point because it's simply faster to kill them this way. start your opponents used to die from this and here they don't take even a basically they'll take something like a quarter of damage ah uh, yeah die away come on on one fight. Very similar similar cyborg to myself. I'm not sure what the body type differences are there. It, it might not even be anything. Just be a pure a cosmetic thing. Let's <laughs> go. 
will suck his life up. Like nothing happened. Wonderful. Ah. How many of you are still left? This is fighting has at this point is, has become fairly routine. I am starting to hope that there aren't too many stages in this really do. There's probably a boss here. We need life from one of these. Now, uh, apparently, it's gonna be you. I don't know how to put it. There should have been more more enemies than these. I mean different type of robots. Maybe it's the body would have made a significant difference or something like that. So for example speed, how much damage you can take, things things like that. Now they're everything's just the same. And since there already is a sort of a sense of repetition, it doesn't really help. And it's also probably because the special attacks you have on these arms at least they aren't yeah. You can't really use them because they're so slow. I'm guessing they're they're more trouble than worth using. So it'll the idea here is good that you have all kinds of different body parts. The player can take advantage of them. Ooh, you have a different kind of things, different kind of robots, and you can switch during the fly uh, on the fly. But in practice, it doesn't really work because. There's no point in me changing this to any anything really, because they're all equally crap. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, please be a boss fight soon. Aren't they all the same? Oh. Oh. Oh, I did say. And probably matter too much. Load. Again, we don't have any more continues. Yeah, they're very aggressive on the ripping off your parts. Yeah, if you the timing on them is pretty much perfect, so you have to succeed very very well in order to prevent that. Maybe I think you can do it. It's not about that. But there's a significant chance of failure. Probably ignore health damage. It's not that big of a deal, you can always recover from that. Yeah, don't do that. Controlling your jumping here is harder than it should be. Because it'll it's very easy to sort of transition in a in a in a yeah, I'm actually gonna load immediately. It's you transition in a mode that you have no intention of taking. That's a common theme here in this game really. I simply can't get it to succeed to pull his parts. Yeah, it just doesn't work really. And there's no... maybe it's because I'm using a keyboard. I can't lock him in a way that I can lock everyone, every other robot. Does it um. For fuck's sake! 
If I don't get an uh, arm out of it, it's totally hopeless. Yeah, I didn't get it. Ah, uh, this is a uh, more cumbersome this shit. For God's sake! No matter what I do, it can it comes anywhere near me. It's basically taking. Yeah. Uh, I definitely like a uh, uh, later gun at this point. If... I want to see if it's really possible to take, take his goddamn torso. Yeah, it's a weird timing thing. It's it's very very close. So either you get it perfect or you're dead. Four one, so at least three more pages. <sighs> I say there, yeah, I'll actually end here for now. This is taking too long, so I'll have to and continue playing now. We'll finish this next some other time.